I'm trying not to raise my arm too much because this is actually, you know, you've got those like old tatty jumpers you wear around the house. Got a whacking great hole in my elbow. But guys, today is not any normal day. Today is actually my birthday. I am another year older, another year wiser. And yeah, I'm having quite a nice chill day today. Um, but this evening, I'm looking after Mar um, Marley, by the way. So that's where you can hear like squeaking in the background. But tonight we are going out for dinner to celebrate. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna kind of like take you along really with that. And then me and Rob are gonna go have a little spa evening just down our gym, because they've got really good facilities. So yeah, keeping it really chill. Tomorrow, like the weekend though, we're gonna go to London. So this may turn into a little bit of like a weekly birthday vlog. Anyway, the reason I pulled out the camera is because I am actually gonna dye my hair. And this is something I've been getting a couple of questions on, particularly on my hair videos. So I thought I'd show you what dye I use, all the colors, all the details. I only really dye my full hair, honestly, max two times a year. Like the last time I dyed my hair all over probably was a good, I'm not gonna lie, eight months ago at this point. Um, so usually I just do a root touch up, but today we're doing the full lock because I need to like refresh this a little bit. Little Marley sitting on the bed. So guys, this is the hair dye that I use. It is from a brand called Herbitint. I get this from my local health store. Now I use two colors. So what I do, Marley, you're gonna have to, sorry, hon. Hun, you gotta get out the shop. So I get a full bottle of 7R. This is gonna be the more red color. So that is definitely the base of the color that I use. And then I do mix in about half a bottle um, of 5R. There you go, you can see that there. And this is the light copper chestnut. This basically just gives a little bit more depth to this color. Cause I don't think like my hair's quite naturally dark. I don't think it would lift really to this color on its own. Oh, just to say as well, actually, you get a, like a shampoo and kind of like a conditioner type thing with the, um, the box dye. And I tell you what, I wish, I don't even know if they do sell this on its own. This makes your hair feel like silk. Like, oh my God, I absolutely love using the conditioner and shampoo it comes with. I wanna mix in the developer. So I'm gonna do the full bottle from the packet I bought. I actually have a little bit of developer left over in my cupboard, so I'm actually gonna put a little bit of this in as well, just because I wanna balance out with the half of the 5R that I put in as well. Put a little bit of that in. And then you just wanna gently give that a stir. Can you see that, look goes really gelatinous. I'm just gonna wipe the excess, just literally on my hair. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take all my clothes off and I can't film this because hashtag living in a rented house. Um, literally this stuff, I feel like no matter how careful I am, I get it everywhere. Like it's, it'll end up on the walls, it'll end up on the floor. So what I do is I literally just get naked and I just get in the shower and I just sit in the shower and literally apply it and put a mirror at the end of the bath. So just keeping it real, that's how I do it. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll come back when it is done and developing. Okay, sorry for the noise, the extractor fan is now on, but I've got the hair dye on. I've just like tidied it up a little bit, make sure all like, you know, the hairline, all that kind of stuff's neat. Because I'm doing my full head, I'm gonna leave this on for 40 minutes to develop, and then I'll rinse it off and I'll show you guys the finished result. Hair is all done, all dyed and dried. I um, need to still do my makeup, obviously, which I'm gonna do in a second. It's actually the afternoon. I want to quickly just show you the color in front of a window while it's still light outside. So what I love about this hair color, like in some settings, it can come off a little bit more brown, but then in certain light, like if I stand underneath this spotlight here, it goes really like very, very red and you get that real vibrancy out of the color. And then it kind of, if I come close to the window, this is kind of like a true representation of the color. But anyways, I'm gonna go get my makeup done because I'm going out for a, a birthday meal tonight. So yeah, I'm gonna go get this face looking birthday ready and well, it's already birthday ready, but you know what I mean? Really like my hair, God, in this lighting. Oh my God, that looks so nice. From. <laughs> Okay, so we are already in the car on our way to the pub, because that's where we're going for dinner tonight, which I'm so excited about. And that means you get to come with us too. Marley Moo, you're coming for the meal and the birthday celebrations as well. Honestly, sometimes it can be such a nightmare, um, especially if another dog comes in the pub. Like we've got to put all the prayers out tonight that no other dogs come in, in our area at least. Um, Otherwise, you're gonna be a pain in the ass, aren't you? But anyway, Robin, hello. This is a new vlog, so say hi, because you haven't been in this one. Evening, <laughs> hi, nice one. Hello, new, new vlog. We're gonna go for the full lot tonight. Starters, mains, desserts, not holding back. Maya. Uh, 
Small birthday video. Happy birthday. <laughs> for a shopping day so yeah it's really lovely the sun is shining it's actually quite big I don't normally vlog in public so I'm get, get, trying to boost my confidence and get the camera out today we're in London we're going for a lovely shopping day literally no plan just gonna wander around see where the day takes us and yeah let's, let's <laughs> Just a quick little update. We have been shopping and shopping and shopping. I actually got myself a new perfume. It's not Gucci, it's actually a Chloe perfume. Very, very excited about that. Rob actually treated me for my birthday. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've just been shopping really non stop. We've been in five Zaras. Yeah, four, yeah, four or five Zaras, about <laughs> six or seven times. Uh, looking for a pair of trousers, and we finally got. <laughs> yeah, I say we, seven. Rob finally got I finally got Oh my god, it's another nice car. Anyway, we are on the King's Road at the moment. We're walking to Sloan Square, kind of in that direction. Um, and yeah, just keep on shopping really, trying to find some holiday bits. Haven't really been that successful so far. Um, but it's been really lovely though, really lovely walking it's around. Been a great day. And then we're trying to work up, oh god, they're going to go past? Yeah. No. Oh. oh. <laughs> No. <laughs> and just like that we are back in the car and we are on our way home and um, today's been so much fun thank you so much Rob Today. Thank you so much because for having me. It has been such a lovely day. I mean, we didn't actually get a huge amount of things to honestly for a shopping trip, but no, we didn't. that's not, you know, that wasn't we've really done necessarily of, done the, a lot of looking, the point. Didn't we? <laughs> anyway, yeah, exactly. We've done a lot of looking, a lot of browsing, and I've actually just been to the. Oh, don't want to show my address. Um, I've actually just been to my pickup point to actually get some vintage parcels I've been waiting for. So I feel like today's trip was also helpful for me just to see what is in the shops. And now I know I can go on vintage and I can be a bit more like, okay, I know what I want to get and kind of, yeah be a bit more assertive with that you know we are on our way home we're gonna go out for a quick walk when we get in and um, but first things first birthday cake because my dad actually really kindly bought me a birthday cake bless him um, and yeah we've got a whole like gluten-free coffee walnut cakes in at home so I mean what is a birthday without birthday cake so that's next on the agenda so just putting candles on the cake but <laughs> There is a little slice missing because we did, well, Rob tucked into it last night, but you know, it's still the same. We just turn it that way. 
Guilty. You never know. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Amy Poos. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> right, I'm gonna make a wish. Um... Woo! <laughs> Woo! Right, let's go. Oh. Mmm. It is so worth. Every mouthful. So it's now the next day. I tell you what, guys, my legs honestly hurt so much. We did so much walking yesterday, and I tell you what, I could just feel it today. Like every time I walk, my shins are like. Urgh. But the reason I put the camera on is because Rob and I did, and I'm pointing here because it's all on the top, ready for me to show you guys. And um, we did just nip out and do a quick little food shop. So I thought I would quickly share with you guys what I picked up. I actually did post on my main channel recently, like a full on like food shop with me video. So if you enjoy like content like that, there's a full in depth like food shopping video over on my main channel. So I'll leave that linked below. So we've got some organic bananas, got some eggs, got some little avocados, courgettes. Got some more salmon, so I like to get the um, four pack. Some carrots, we also got some beef mints. I'm planning to make a bolognese, and I actually managed to get that one um, a little bit reduced, which is fantastic. So yeah, I've got organic beef mints. We've got some of my favorite yogurt ever, which is the Nush almond yogurt. This is not really something I get often, but this week I just decided to pick up a tin of tuna. I have really tried to reduce my tuna intake. We've also got a purple cabbage. We've got some salad. They only had reduced ones, but that's fine. We've got some organic salad. We've got some purple sprouting broccoli, some rocket, cucumbers, my favorite apple cider vinegar, which is this one. It's the Willie's. Um, live apple cider vinegar and I just get the original one really really love this stuff so got one of those got some oats Ooh, turn that upside down they're the ones that I get um, also got some turkey breast some broccoli we've got some oyster I think these are oyster yep king oyster mushrooms some hummus I get this one with extra virgin olive oil some lemons and I think that's it work back to the normal grind but I tell you what this weekend has just been everything and more it's been just exactly what I've been craving now I just wanted to end off this vlog just touching on like my eating over the weekend because I know you know with my past history being very acne prone in my journey and also now being a, a practitioner who helps people with their acne journey I know that the mindset around food particularly when you're going through acne it's, it's very intense like you eat something it's like oh my god this is going to break me out and something that I'm always working on with clients is trying to shift that m mindset and mentality because that is also such a huge part of healing but also post having acne it's also a huge part of keeping consistent clear skin and you know for example this last weekend not for one moment did I think oh my god this is going to break me out oh my god I shouldn't be having this oh guilt 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 no when it comes to acne there is definitely three main pillars that you need to look at you need to look at the internal aspects so that is identifying what internal imbalances there are going on like for example a hormonal imbalance or like maybe a gut issue and um, things like that you've then got the external factors so they're basically anything like skincare makeup anything topical which um, may be filled with poor blocking ingredients for example or may just have ingredients like uh, too harsh or maybe you're overusing certain ingredients on your skin and um, so yeah it's making sure you're looking at the topical aspects and making sure that they're in harmony with the skin as well and then you've got the mindset and this mindset pillar honestly I would say it's probably even the most important pillar out of them all because you could be doing 
so much in terms of internals work and all your skincare and everything but if you've got this like negative self-talk going on or if you've got all this stress that you're creating around your skin and you're getting yourself really overwhelmed in social situations and like you know if you go out to eat it's like a huge panic overload stress that you're creating in the mind that can really be masking a lot of your progress and that is like the secret little flip like switch to flip really this is so clear on my own journey like when i think back to when i was like in the peak of my acne i was so like restrictive around certain foods there was so much stress like around what i was eating like if i went out for my birthday dinner for example i would look at that menu and feel really overwhelmed like not knowing what to eat like that creating all this stress um, and then i'd eat something and i feel so guilty afterwards and I, if i think back to that time my skin was at its worst and um, whereas fast forward to now i mean you've watched this vlog you've seen what i've eaten over the weekend like i still have very acne prone skin so i have to still have to stay on top of like making sure i'm supporting all my internal stuff my skincare and all these three pillars like i still have to keep doing that work to keep my skin consistently clear but just goes to show i can still enjoy weekends like you know the weekend that i've had enjoy foods out but it's releasing that stress around those moments that actually prevents me from having like these flare-ups afterwards like my skin has stayed completely normal like to how it normally is i haven't had any major breakouts no major flares and having the balance and freedom to have weekends like this and then be able to get back onto my normal routine like that just feels so healthy it is honestly the goals in my opinion like that is really what we want to get to and just be living completely free and yeah but have the knowledge and education on how to support ourselves so when those moments do come along when you do eat out or have dessert or whatever it might be it's a choice and you choose to enjoy it it is just not realistic to say I'm never going to touch a piece of cake for the rest of my life. I mean, if that was the case, I think I'd feel very, very sad. And that is not going to help my skin. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little birthday vlog. If you aren't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And also do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And yeah, that is it from me, guys. I'm going to end it off here. I'm sending you guys all my love and positivity as always. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.